I got to ask you, man, what is it about this team that makes you guys believe in the fourth quarter that you can pull out a game like this? Man, we just believe in we just believe in the guys that we have. Um, you know, we, we preach that neutral mindset. No matter how the game is going, you know, we're going to stay even kill. And like I said, we believe in the guys we have. We believe in the, uh, the talent on our team, the way we work, and we just come out here and prove it every week. Uh, Amari, walk us through that game-winning drive from your perspective. What do you remember? Uh, the game-winning drive, man. Zeke. <laughs> right, run over people. Zeke, oh my God, Zeke made a, a very um, important play in that drive. Probably the most important play yep. uh, besides uh, my touchdown. Yeah. Well, I can think of one, other, one other even besides that, but yes. But that, the long one down the sideline where yeah. it's being tipped in the air. You know the crazy part about it? I was thinking about it walking into the locker room. I knew I had like a couple, three catches on that drop. I couldn't remember that play. I was just reminded of that play. It was it was crazy because I had a lot going on. I took my hamstring, so I had to come out some plays. Uh, but it was by the grace of God, man, the most high, that I was able to come back out here and, and make that kick. How does it feel when your teammates, when your coach, Kellen Moore, he calls a number like that? How, how does that make you feel when you know your number's being called and you got to deliver? Oh, man, that's, that's, that's the best feeling in the world because, you know, I believe in myself and very confident uh, in my ability. And I, I, want, I want the ball in that situation. I want to go out there and win it because I know I can do that for my team. How about Cooper Rush in general? <laughs> Just in the clutch, what you're asking him to do on that final drive. Wanted to show you some of those final plays that you may have forgotten. Just so you could relive them real quick with America. <laughs> Cooper Rush cut. in the clutch. Makes you guys believe in him. And how do you go play <laughs> like this under the bright lights? Man, it was, you know, very impressive what Coop was able to do out here. Coop the Coop. Uh -huh. <laughs> very impressive what Coop was able to do out here. You know, a short week, not really knowing if he would start or not. Um, but the thing about Coop, he's very well prepared. You know, every time on a flight back home even though he's the backup I'm always when I wake up I'm always seeing him studying in the iPad and stuff like that so he's always prepared for these moments talk about that offensive line man and the job that they did we talk about Cooper Rush we can talk about your game winner and Zeke Elliott but without this offensive line that gave him plenty of time this wouldn't be possible man the offensive line they're like the engine you know what I'm saying without them we ain't going nowhere That's right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying and it's it's so great to have all of them back healthy um, you know, we got Tyron, obviously Zach, you know, all these guys. They're, they're probably, the, to me, the most important part of the team. No because without them, we ain't going to be able to do nothing. So. That's right. Have you been on a Cowboys team with this much talent? I, I don't think so, man. I, to be honest, this is the, I, I said it before, this is the best team I've been on um, uh, since my time in the league. This is my seventh year. This is undoubtedly the best team I've been on. Yeah, where do you see that talent, though? Where specifically do you feel that talent? Everywhere. <laughs> the thing about, That's where I feel it. The thing about um, every great team that I've noticed, whether I was in Pop Warner, uh, what, whatever sport I was in, depth. You have depth, you, you're going to be successful. You see our, our quarterback went down, Coop came in, made some, made some big plays. Um, we, we have corners go down. I mean, um, Michael Gallup isn't even playing. You saw Seth with that huge touchdown. We have a lot of depth. We have a lot of talent throughout, uh, across the board. So, yeah. Talk about Michael Parsons, and you get a young guy like that that's willing to come in and sacrifice and play two totally different positions. It's pretty impressive to me. Man, he ain't faster than me, but he faster than a lot of receivers. <laughs> he <laughs> faster, nobody faster than you. <laughs> he faster than a lot of receivers, though. Michael Parsons, he, that, that boy fast. Man, that's the thing that 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 jumps off the field. There he right is there. right here. You got to talk to me about this guy. This is a young guy. It seems like he's more effective when he's in his natural position at linebacker. But man, he is outstanding. He's all over the field. Man, Micah think he could play every position. He be trying to line up at receiver. I'm like, Micah, you can't play everything. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, he's so versatile, so fast. He's just a dog, man. Hey, hey, take us inside that locker room right after this win. What was the mood? What was the vibe you just came out of? Oh, man, you know, guys were elated. I mean, they were real happy. Obviously, a win in this league, you know, it, it, it's big because, I mean, it's hard to win in this league, real hard. But you guys were just happy, uh, you know, heck of emotions because it was such a close game. How do you handle expectations? Because all the media, they're saying, wow, this is a loaded team. This is a team that could potentially get to the Super Bowl. Do you guys embrace that Super Bowl talk or do you kind of push it away? I mean, you know, we preach, take it a game at a time, be present, be where your feet are. Uh -huh. um, like, I, like I alluded to earlier, that neutral mindset. I mean, where the things are going good, things are going bad. Which is neutral, even kill the whole time. What about Mike McCarthy? I mean, he's gotten a bad rap. A lot of people say that he's not a good coach. Talk to us about what he's what he's doing for this team. I mean, people, <laughs> I mean, opinions, oh, right? You know, people say I'm not a good player or whatever. Um, the thing about Mike McCarthy, the thing I love most about him is all he cares about is winning. Mm. That's all he cares about. Whatever he has to do um, in preparation, 
personnel. All he cares about is winning. And it's like, how can you not respect a guy like that? You know? Yeah, and with all due respect, you, I've never heard anybody in my life say Amari Cooper is a good player. <laughs> no, I have not either. And what a game tonight. And I've been watching you since Alabama. Man, I, a bad boy in college. Man, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for your time. Thank, Thank you, man. Safe travels.